Hello there. Welcome to another episode of PJF Decorating Decorating Tips. Now I've been getting a lot of emails lately, uh, and they've been and they've been along the lines of, uh, "Oh, thanks for all your wallpapering tips, Pat. But uh, what we need to know is we need to know how to paint a door. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be showing you how to do just that. Okay. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be painting this panel door. Um, but first thing you you need to do whenever you start painting a door is you need to take off the hardware. Now, you can mask it up, but to be honest, it's as easy just to take it off. So what we're going to do is, we're going to take the hardware off, we're going to start with a bit of preparation, do a bit of filling, and then we're going to start showing you how to do the undercoat. So that's it, we've got the uh, two minute job, we've got the furniture off. A uh, bit of sandpapering down there, and a bit of filling here and there, and we can start with the undercoat. Okay, what's quite important as well, I forgot to mention, is we need something on the floor, we need to protect the floor. So, dust sheet, newspaper, I'm using a bit of lining paper, just to slide under the bottom of the door to protect any little spots of paint that you might. Slides under there, like that. So we're going to scrape out all the loose joints. And what we use to fill these is we use expanding filler, what's known in the dec decorating trade as cork. And we run that down the joint just like so, and it gives a nice Run your finger down it just to finish it off nicely, and it gives a nice finish. Fills there, so any movement in the door and the and the filler, because it's expanding, it'll, it'll hold out. Okay, so I'll just run through uh, the brushes, the tools of the trade. Now what we've got here, we've got a one-inch long bristled, generally what we use for emulsioning. So we'll not be using that for undercoating the door. So we don't need that one just now. What we do need is we need a we need a shorter, slightly shorter bristle brush. This one's been worked in nicely, um, and this is what we're going to be using today for the undercoat. Right. So that's all nicely sanded down. Right, so we're ready to apply the undercoat. Now what a lot of people uh, ask me from time to time, they'll say, uh, Hey Pat, what ages do you paint when you're painting a door? Well, I'll tell you. So what, we, uh, what we're looking at, we're painting this side of the door. In actual fact, it's the outside of this particular room. So when we're painting the edges, this edge actually comes in with the inside of the room. As you can see, when you open the door, that's the edge you see from the inside. Whereas when you stood on the outside, as you open the door, you don't see this edge because it's on the inside, but you do see this edge. So this edge will come in with this side of the door. So that's what we're going to do first. We're going to do the edges first. So we go down the back edge. We go right down the back edge of the door there first. This is, you basically, you're doing the edges first <coughs> so that you don't get any fatty edges coming onto the, the face of the door, because that'll be a, the finished stroke will go down the face of the door to get rid of any fatty edges. So you go right down to the bottom of the door. Alright, so when we start to do the face of the door now, we always start with the, with the edges again, but in this case, you're going to be doing the edges of the panels. So you do, you, you go along all the edges first, generous amount of undercoat on there your finished your finished <coughs> product is uh, the gloss when you put the gloss on the gloss is only only looks as good as as solid as the undercoat does so you get your undercoat solid your gloss finish will be nice and solid so we've done the edges of the panel there and then we can do the face of the panel so as all them 
fatty edges on the on the from the edges will be brushed away nicely. nicely undercoated so what we need to do now is we need to let that dry and uh, while that's drying uh, I think we'll have an instrumental break As you can see, this door is all nice and dry now. Um, I've got some uh, gloss prepared right down here. Right, we're going to do pretty much like we did with the undercoat. We're going to do the edges first. Uh, the only slight difference being, you might have noticed I've got a couple of brushes now. One's for the broader work, one's for the cutting in or to get into more intricate parts. Uh, it just makes it a little bit easier with the gloss. So, we'll start off by the edges again. So like before, we'll go around all the edges first, all the panel edges. The, the, the difference with the gloss of course is you've got to, it's more prone to getting drips in your gloss, so you've got to a little bit more care and make sure you what you call is late off. So make sure to stop any runs coming down. Once you've actually once you're happy with the, the quantity you've put on, just run over it one final time, smooth out any would-be little runners that might be thinking of creeping down. So and again with the panels, edges first, panels, bring them in after. Cross your, cross your gloss over, keep crossing it over like that and then it's eliminate any chance of any drips and runners creeping down your door. Cross it over, spread it out, and then finish it off all in the same direction. Follow the grain where possible. back on. We can't do that just now because it's wet but we'll, uh, we'll finish the job off when it's all nice and dry. Um, but yeah, there you go. Right, so that just about wraps it up for another episode of PJF Decorating, Decorating Tips. So until next time, it's goodbye from me. It's goodbye from him. <laughs>